Hi, uh, Elliot Richmond, WordPress theme and plugin developer. Um, I wanted to do this video because I wanted to show people how easy it is to set up a, a WooCommerce store using WordPress, but using full site editing experience um, and new blocks for WooCommerce. So some caveats here, I'm going to, um, I've got a basic WordPress installation here. I'm just gonna log in. And I'm just going to talk about the things that we're going to, the prerequisites we're going to need just to get started and what I'm going to be doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get, um, it's like July 2023 and WordPress 6.3 is about to drop. And also WooCommerce is at 7.9, but that, that's going to drop in uh, at 8 in August, I believe. And um, I'm also going to be using WooCommerce block. So this stuff is coming. Um, it's going to be stable in the next few weeks. Um, so although it may be buggy as I'm building this, uh, in, you know, in a few weeks, it's going to be more stable. So it's definitely the way to go. Um, rather than doing a video on old tech, might as well do it on new tech or bleeding edge stuff. So, um, yeah, let's, so let's dive in. So that's kind of like the, the prerequisites, but I need to um, set up some installations here. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I might speed the video up just so it's not so boring to watch. So the first thing I'm going to do is to load a plugin called block, uh, create block theme and activate that. What that's going to do, it's going to qualify. Um, it's going to allow us to create a block theme, which qualifies for full site editing. Um, there's also an, another part of it that um, comes with the plugin and that's allows you to manage your theme fonts. Um, so the, the default installation is going to use a, a serif font that I'm I'm not keen on. So we're going to like design the head, header and stuff. And we're going to clean it up and just make it a little bit more elegant, I guess. Um, and to do that, we need some fonts. So we're going to utilize that. So next, I'm going to install WooCommerce. So once you install WooCommerce and activate it, first thing it's going to do is going to take you through some onboarding. We'll go through that onboarding process. Um, it's very simple, you just need to agree to the terms. Now, WooCommerce does come with some free uh, features, but just to keep this simple, I'm going to disable all of these. Um, you may want to, you know, if you're in a real world situation, you may want to add those, but for this purpose, I'm just going to keep it simple. Okay, so there's some more onboarding. Um, we're going to skip through this, but this onboarding is going to allow you to add products, set up some payment uh, gateways, some taxes, some shipping, and a few other things. Uh, we're going to come back and do that. So I'm going to skip over that for the, for the moment. So the next thing we're going to need are, is a plugin called WooCommerce Blocks. Now WooCommerce Blocks um, offer a whole range of Gutenberg blocks that allow you to help to build and customize your site in more in a more granular way. There are blocks that are already bundled with WooCommerce and they are the stable considered the stable blocks. Um, WooCommerce blocks, the additional plugin will give us some bleeding edge stuff and some experimental blocks that we can play with. And it's going to give us things like, um, you know, like the breadcrumb, um, featured products, uh, filter by, etc. And they're, they're going to be really useful for, for designing and taking more customization or taking control of the customization of your WooCommerce shop. So go ahead and search for WooCommerce blocks, install and activate that. Activate. Okay, so what we need now is our bare bones uh, block theme. And we're gonna use the create block theme plugin to do that. So we come to appearance and then select create block theme. And we're gonna create a blank theme. And this is basically gonna qualify us for getting started with full site editing. Now I'm not going to put an image and I'm not going to tag it because I'm just going to keep this fairly simple. So go ahead and generate that. Now what that will do is put in a new theme and we can see it's uh, installed there. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that. Now the next thing I want to do is add some fonts. So just in preparation. So I'm going to go over to manage fonts. But what I want to do is add uh, a Google font. 
And what this will do is actually will download it, convert it into the file formats it needs and put it into the, the theme folder behind the scenes. So I'm gonna find a font, I'm gonna use Open Sans and you get this, uh, if, when, if, if the family is available, uh, it will, it will uh, return all of the weights. Um, in some instances, there are only like, yeah, there's only one weight for a font, but open source comes as a, as a whole family. So what I'm gonna do is install that. Now, when you select all of these fonts, you, you may not use all of them. Um, so if you're conscious about your like energy footprint, um, you may wanna look at the, the, the file size of, of the fonts you're downloading, because that's gonna have an impact on load times and stuff. So you may not wanna use the, uh, the very light version, um, or the very bold version, you may not want all of these italic uh, weights. So just be aware of that. I'm not con too concerned for the moment because this is my um, is a local installation. It's not going to have any imp impact on load times really for a real world situation. But um, for flexibility, I'm going to load all of them for the moment. Cool. So now that's added to my theme. If I go to manage fonts again, you'll be able to see that. So I've got 12 variants loaded, and I've got also got this system font. I'm going to remove system font because I don't need that anymore so get rid of that so we are in a pretty good position now to go ahead and start um, doing the full site editing so I'm gonna find my editor now you can access it through appearance editor or you can if you're in the front end you get an option to um, click this link here and uh, edit the site now you can see this is a very stripped back bare-bones um, boilerplate theme at the moment which is what the create block theme has created. Um, obviously, there's no styling, there's no uh, width management or alignment. It's just a bare bones theme. So in the next video, what we're going to do is to um, do the full site editing and clean this up and style it a, a little bit. We're going to do the header, we're going to do the footer. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video.